Welcome to Arkavar City Online Classes. In this video lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret Kolmogorov Smirnov two sample test using IBM SPSS statistics. The Kolmogorov Smirnov test also called as a KS test tests whether two independent samples have been drawn from the same population or not. So here uh, there will be two groups and we will try to verify or check whether they are drawn from the same population or not. And there are two ways of calculating Kolmogorov Smirnov two sample independent test in SPSS. I will show you both the procedures with the two different examples in this video lecture. The Kolmogorov Smirnov two sample test, this test tests whether two independent samples have been drawn from a same population or from populations with the same distribution. Now the two-tail test is sensitive to any kind of a differences in the distribution for which two samples were drawn. So differences in the location, it may be in a central tendency, it may be in a dispersion or it may be in a skewness. The outcome of this uh, test is that is a KS test for two independent samples is that if two samples have in fact drawn from the same population distribution, then cumulative distribution of both samples may be expected to be fairly close to each other in as much as they both should show only random deviations from the population distribution. That means both will be the first same uh, population. Next, if the, if the two cumulative distributions are too far apart at any point, this suggests that the samples are come from different populations. That means if they are very close or fairly close to each other, then we can say that they are drawn from the same population. If they are too far, then we can say that they are from a different populations. Thus, large enough deviations between the two sample cumulative distributions is evidence of rejecting the null hypothesis. If there is a large deviation, then we reject the null hypothesis. If the deviations are very small, then we accept the null hypothesis. So to perform KS test, uh, the measurement of a data should be at least on ordinal scale. When we say that at least on ordinal scale, uh, we exclude uh, nominal scale. We can start with the ordinal scale. Then uh, you can use the interval scale or a ratio scale. And data collection should be from two samples that are independent of each other. So here is the procedure. Now with the two examples, uh, I'll show you how to calculate. Uh, this is using uh, IBM SPSS. Now here is one example. This I borrowed from a textbook. So household expenditures in a Hong Kong dollars of a 20 single men and 20 single women, including fuel and light charges are reported in a SPSS data file. Determine whether the two samples come from the same distribution or not. So the null hypothesis that we frame here is that the two populations are almost the same and alternative hypothesis that the two populations are different. So after defining your uh, hypothesis, here is the data sheet. Now first we go to the variable view and here the gender is one that is a men and woman. Expenditure is another uh, variable. So grouping variable is a gender. Now gender one as a man and a two as a woman. Now data view, here you have a data. Now to calculate Kalmarov Smirnov test for two independent samples, go to menu command, click on analyze. And from analyze, go to non-parametric statistical test or non-parametric test and legacy dialogues. Then uh, two independent uh, samples. Now here, your uh, household expenditure is the test variable. Then gender is the grouping variable. And here you need to define a grouping. Groups we have given values as a one and a two. So group one is one and a group two is two. Then I click continue. Here uncheck the Man Whitney U test and now check Kolgumaro Smirnow test. And uh, click on exact button and select exact. Click continue. Go to options and here uh, choose the descriptives and click on continue. Then finally click OK. So the result is presented in an output document. Now just go there. Here you have observations, n is a 40, that is a 20 women and a 20 men. You can see the frequencies here. The household, men were 20 and women were 20, total participants are uh, 40. Then you can see the Kolmogorov Smirnov test value, which is 1.265. 
and uh, significance value of a two tailed is 0 0.08 and exact significance for two tailed is 0 0.08. So this 0 0.08 indicates that we failed to reject the null hypothesis at 5% significance level. If your significance level is 10, then you would have rejected the null hypothesis. But for now, this is because uh, your significance level is 5%, uh, so which is greater than 0 0.05. So we retain the null hypothesis. This is one way of calculating the uh, Kalumaru spin test and the result indicates that the population or the two distributions are drawn from the same population. That is what the hypothesis we framed here. So here the two populations are almost the same. Now we go to the next example. So here is an uh, example. A data corresponds to scores of 0 to 30 measuring the quality of a two brands of a coffee brand 1 is a BR and brand 2 is NS. Scores were uh, computed based on a survey addressed to customers using either brand. 18 customers answered for a BR and 10 different clients for a NS. You need to perform Kalgamaro Smirnov 2 sample test on a two data samples to check whether the samples come from the same distribution or not. So here the hypothesis that we frame is that the two samples come from a common distribution and the alternative hypothesis is that the two samples do not come from a common distribution. So here we have a data sheet. Just go to a variable view and observe the variables. Coffee is your grouping variable and a rating is a test variable. So here one as a BR and two as a NS. Now to run, now click on analyze. Then non-parametric test. Here, now this time go to the independent samples. So independent samples objective is automatically compare distribution across the groups then click on a fields button so here your uh, test fields is aggregate uh, customer feedback or rating and here it accepts only two forms one is the ordinal and second one is the scale now choose this one by uh, right clicking on the arrow next is your coffee brand send this to the groups so your groups will accept all the three types nominal ordinal as well as a scale Next go to settings. So here choose test, uh, select customized tests and from customized test select Kalmogoro Spirno 2 samples test. Then test options, you have a significance levels at 5% and confidence interval of 95%. Then uh, click run. The result is presented in an output document. I will go there. Here is the output. The output results indicates the hypothesis test summary. Now the distribution of aggregate of items scale is the same across categories of a coffee brand. All right. So independent samples Kalgamaro Smirno test has been conducted and significance value is 0.95 and retain the null hypothesis. So the hypothesis test summary will uh, uh, minimize your uh, burden of interpreting the result. So it directly gives you retain the null hypothesis. That means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So here are the test values. Independent sample Kalumaro Smithro test values. N, you have absolute values, positive, negative. Test statistics is 0 0.075. And uh, asymptotic uh, significance value is 0 0.59 because of which we retain the null hypothesis. So when we are retaining a null hypothesis, it clearly indicates that the two coffee brands come from the same population or same population distribution. So here uh, you can see the independent samples, coffee brands, their uh, frequency distribution uh, tables. Then you have a cumulative frequency distribution table here, categorical field information of a coffee brand. So based on this test analysis, what is that we can say that the two samples come from the same common distribution. That is the two coffee brands, uh, that is a BR and NS comes from the same common distribution. So this is how you need to calculate the Kalmogoro Smirnov 2 sample test for independent uh, groups using IBM SPSS, two different uh, procedures and uh, test the hypothesis. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the lecture.